All right, you guys, today's mission, take the roll cage back out of the car and drop it off for powder coating. Hopefully it's a one day process. If not, should be all right because I got two days off. So now let's pull this bad boy out. Also, one more thing I was thinking about is getting this and this painted the same color. And if you are wondering, yes, this back seat will eventually be painted the same color. So it's all white and everything is in uniform, have it all match. And this carpet will remain, but this will be all painted and shined up. Fits pretty good in the car, just enough room. This poor car. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm gonna see what other color options these guys have, but the main goal was to do white. But if I'm gonna paint the interior white, I want it to be the same white, which is kind of gonna be a little tough because the interior is gonna be the Honda white. That's the same as the outside, since I know what color coat to use for that. But if the guy has a color option that stands out pretty good, I want to go with something like that just so I can match the brakes. The Acura big brakes are going to be the same color that match the cage. And I still need to paint the faces of the wheels. And I was kind of thinking of doing the wheels white also. And I'm not sure if I want the faces to match the same color as the brakes. So that's kind of something I'm going back and forth with right now. But the, the main color, the, the base optional main option is definitely going to be white. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do the white with the white back seats. Try to get those to match as close as possible, I guess, if that's what it comes down to. But the other color options I was thinking of that's not too crazy and stands out too much would be like a, uh, a silver or a grayish Honda grayish color for the cage so I don't know maybe the brakes just might have to just take a loss and do a different color on the brakes and do the faces of the wheels white so I think that's what I'll probably do but you guys will see we'll see together just stick in there we'll uh We'll see how this car turns out. It's gonna be a process, slow, but fun and new. Here we go. All right, guys, just dropped off the roll bar. He did have color options there. He had like fluorescent colors, silvers, neon, some basic, you know, black, gray, stuff like that. And he said that white's a little hard because it, you gotta make sure it's really clean so he doesn't get speckles in it. So it'll take a little bit longer than expected. So he's thinking maybe Friday. So I'll give you guys an update on Friday. So this video is gonna have to be held out until then, but I will give you guys an update on how it's looking. And when I pick it up, I'll post a video or a, not a video, but I'll post a photo on my IG story for anybody that's curious on how it turns out but pretty cool guy pretty cool shop the dude has an s2000 an old ef hatch some muscle cars and uh some honda motors in his garage he just showed me a b18 because i was asking about timing the h22 correctly and stuff like that 
but he asked me to send some videos and photos so he can see what I'm dealing with, which is pretty cool. So I can get some insight on the H and make sure the H is correct before I swap it in. So I think this was kind of a meant to be thing. I think I was supposed to get this painted, powder coated locally and be at this place. It's just weird. It's mind blowing if you think about it. Just the way the world works is crazy. Everything happens for a reason. What is, yeah, today's Monday, so in a few days, the next clip will be me picking up this roll bar. Here's a little update on the TL brake calipers and the big brake kit, basically. I went ahead and pulled this off the car because I needed something to do. So I got this all bolted up to see if it fits. Here's the H22 for somebody that was asking about this. 96 Prelude, I believe this came out of. And uh, this is currently being messed with. This is gonna be swapped into the Accord. All right, and the wheels do clear the calipers with 10 millimeter spacers. I do have two five millimeter slip-ons right now, but I want to get the Hub centric style dirty wheel i'll clean this up in a little bit so here's a little update on the big brake kit that's going to be going on the car let's go get this roll bar all right you guys good news so we just got a text that the roll bar is ready to pick up and it's the next day so i'm heading up right now and i'll give you guys a little walk around on the shop some of the cars and how the roll bar looks and then today i'm going to set it in the car see how it looks officially but I'm not sure if I'm gonna start drilling the holes depends on how I'm feeling because it's a hot freaking day today and I just want to go sit by the water honestly that's what I want to do for the day I was actually planning to go out right now to go to the water find a river and chill but then I got the text that the roll bar is ready unexpectedly but super dope so I'm gonna head up there right now and show you guys how it looks Like hell yeah, dude's done. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, with powder coating, it's pretty quick. Yeah. So, I think you dropped this off yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just we got this done today because we had that fucking. I don't know if you can see it. The big ass like fixed it all up. So. Yeah, it's my stepdad's buddies, but he's, he lost the title, so we have to go get that. Just a little minute things. All right, you guys. We got the roll bar. And oh my god, dude, that white. It looks just like the white on the Accord. So this is gonna work out perfect. So I'll link the, their uh, Facebook page. If you're local and you wanna get some stuff powder coated, they don't have an IG at the moment, but they do have a Facebook and I'll throw their information up for you guys. Uh, the total cost for this was 250. 250 is not that bad. I was expecting at least like tops, 300, 400 bucks. And he texted me and said it'd be 250. I was like, damn, that's perfect. That's a good price. And the turnover time for how quick that was, man, I'm on pumps. And it's on my day off, so I get to actually pick it up and put it in the car the same day and see how it looks. But holy shit, dude. This is sick. And I believe these are the only guys that are local to the Hood River Dalles area that does powder coating. So if you guys are in this area, all you Honda guys want to get something powder coated, brakes, wheels, roll bars, whatever they can fit inside their, their uh, oven, make sure you guys contact these dudes. Away where I was planning on going to 
sit by the river, check it out. It all works out. Yeah, so make sure you guys contact these dudes. They got a little shop behind their house and they get all this work done, so support the locals. A little bit of sand here. Someone's got a little pool. This water actually runs down from the mountains, so it's freezing. And I forgot my chair. All right, back to the cord for the next clip.